The next step in this process is to create the drag knob and any reverse assembly for the reel. The drag knob is a tap nut that increases pressure on the spool as you tighten. The drag knob will be cut from this piece of one and a half inch round bar. Once the outside diameter was complete, I put the radius on it by hand with a file. The final shape was then polished with a piece of 800 grit sandpaper. This hole will soon become the quarter 20 threads inside the drag knob. The piece was then parted off to turn the opposite side. This is not the right way to hold a tap on a lathe, but it works fine. Next I used a ball end mill and the DRO to create a gripping feature around the handle.
next step here is to cut the drag pole. This is made pretty quick and painless on the water jet. The cutting tab is then ground off on the grinding wheel. The finished shape was then cleaned up with some 800 grit sandpaper wet. I center punch the location for the hole in the drag pole. It was then drilled out to fit a number two machine screw. I temporarily mounted the drag paw in place to mark out a location for the spring. The spring was made from a piece of 40 thousandths diameter hard X bright Marlin spring wire. I use this drill bit as a form for where the spring attaches to a number two screw. I marked out the location of the next bins with a sharpie. Spring test successful. That's it for this video. 
Next time, I'll be making the last two pieces, the handle and the counterweight. Thanks for watching.